Books. Lots of books. Always having books around us to read. But today, we can read books that are wiki books. Yay for us. So many wiki applications are available for learning and for teaching all around the world. Let's take a look at some of the opportunities that we have. Wiki uses and applications. Now, a wiki is a collection of web pages that can be updated quickly and on the fly, just like that. Quick. It was called the Quick Web until Ward Cunningham was in Hawaii and was kind of stranded and needed to take the wiki wiki to the airport, hence called the wiki. Now, in 2006, you were named the person of the year by Time Magazine. You, because Tools like Wiki, Web 2.0 tools, let you contribute to the web, participate in the web, be part of the web. You are the web. It aligns with constructivistic types of learning, where students own knowledge. There might be more interaction, collaboration, social, socially shared knowledge, where students create, remix, and reuse content. Their minds are on fire, as John Silly Brown says in his classic article in Educause Quarterly a couple of years ago. Advantages, as I mentioned, quick. Everything's quick. Easy access. Quickly upload, open up a page, type in your password and so forth, and up it goes. You can also revert back changes if you don't like them. The challenges are that people might be on the other end of the digital divide and might have to use proxy servers to access the wiki or the wiki book. There might be a small learning curve, especially if you're not familiar with wikis or had never used one before. If you have a, this issue of training, you might go to wikis in plain English on YouTube and listen to Leela Fever like millions of others around the world have and find out about wikis. So that's a little about why, how to use wikis we'll come to in a second. But how about types of wikis? There are hosted services like PBWiki, now called PBWorks, like peanut butter, easy as peanut butter, wiki spaces, hosted. So you don't have to worry about anything. And then there are server-based. Now, some of the hosted services are free up to a point. Some cost money. This is the interface for PB Works, and here's the interface for Wikispaces. Hundreds of thousands of educators in higher ed, K-12, nonprofit, business settings are using Wikispaces for teaching and learning. Students might use a wiki to create a glossary in a class. Students might use a wiki to create an essay as a group. Students might use a wiki to revise Wikipedia pages. Right? They also might be sharing their learning with others, sharing with their team, collaborating, setting deadlines as a team. They might also publish their findings through a wiki, submit their findings to the instructor. Instructors, on the other hand, might use a wiki by having their syllabus on the web, their lesson plans on the web, sharing contact information and frequently asked questions and so forth and so on. Right. So consider the, those wiki uses. Consider the problem-based learning possibilities of a wiki. That's why they're so popular today, I think, is that they engage learners. They let them interact and participate in their own learning process, in effect, transforming the learning. Cross-institutional projects, international projects are becoming common today online, coordinating schedules. My colleagues Grace Lynn in Hawaii and Mimi Lee in Houston and I we did cross-institutional wiki books and found it was not easy. My student Nari Kim and Oshkosh and all of us worked together very hard. These, this is not an easy thing to do. We had video conferences between universities in Houston and University of Indianapolis in Indianapolis and Bloomington, Indiana, for students to see each other before and after creating their wiki book. Think about document uh, authority. Who's going to approve the content? Is it the individual? more likely it's the community. Who's going to permit new people to come in to read, contribute, write into the wiki? Who's going to select the topics for the wiki? These are all issues. This is an important area to think about. Technology skills might be required, but not too many. And also think about history pages. Will you let your students revert back if they don't like the changes or will you have them discuss them? Quality becomes a concern if it's crowdsourced content. You might not want your students using Wikipedia but you might let them use the Encyclopedia of Life or American uh, Encyclopedia Britannica or some other website that's peer-reviewed. Wikibooks is typically not a peer-reviewed website, right? So think about those issues and control issues and so forth. Now, Jimmy Wales created Wikipedia along with others, along the Wikimedia Foundation. 
I visited there a couple of years ago, and there are very few employees there, but yet they got thousands of books at the Wikibook website in, you know, we did some in the Web 2.0 and learning theories. There are some on Ukrainian dancing and history and culture of Europe, Europe and American culture. There's wiki books on many topics available today. It's not only wiki books, but wiki news, wiki source, wiki species. You know, if you uh, want to get a quote from Shakespeare, go to wiki quotes. If you want Darwin's original writings or Einstein or, or Newton, go to wiki source. As I said, uh, my students critiqued wiki books on the web for a while. We critiqued the University of Georgia students, Michael Ori's wiki on uh, wiki book on learning theories. Then Houston students and Indianapolis and Bloomington students wrote a wiki book. Then we also we, we edited wiki books. My friend Ron Ostin at York had his students edit the web page, the wiki page, and the lesson plan and the syllabus. They edited his syllabus. My friends in Israel at the Open U had students create a glossary online. Here's Michael Ori's website on learning theories. Ron Ostin's website for his syllabus. So start small and expand use over time. Think about the ground rules for the wiki. Think about how students will use and access that wiki website. What's, what is you know, the norm? What are the norms for that wiki activity? Do they know the rules that you're going to use? Do they know how you're going to assess them and critique them? Ask students what they're familiar with. Ask other instructors what they're using. See what's going on in your campus or in your department so you can start with what students already know. And if they have never used one, create a scaffold or a job aid that you might post to the web or put in their handouts or put in their learning management system, course management system, so they have that job aid to walk them through or tutorial. If you can meet them face to face, take them to a computer lab and try things out. And when done, conduct assessment, formative and summative. And archive what's really good and what happened that's working so students can see what's, what's available and effective. Maybe research what you've done and share your results with others. Some people hold competitions for best Wikibook projects and then give awards out at the end. I've done that myself. Some have cross-institutional collaborations and provide training for people in other countries who might not have the English skills or the Wiki backgrounds and so forth. Maybe have a video conference in and among members of international teams so they might see each other and create shared knowledge in those video conferences or web conferences. Motivate with celebrations of success, exemplary work, feedback, and other things. But as I said, be clear on the assessment, be clear on how you're going to grade, maybe have some reflection on their wiki work and grade the reflection as opposed to the wiki book projects themselves. But there are many things that you need to think about in terms of wiki-based activities. It's an exciting area to get into. I've been doing wiki-based collaborations for three or four or five years now. And it gets easier over time because I've created the scaffolds, the prior examples. I can bring students back in to sh share what worked, what didn't work. We can have exemplary resources available. Success stories and testimonials go a long ways. Just having some comfort in using wikis. But again, it could be a wiki book, it could be a lesson plan, it could be a team project, it could be a glossary, it could be debate notes that you put up in a wiki. After a while, what the students will say is, put it in the wiki, put it in the wiki. That'd be a great place for that assignment. You know, the light bulbs will go off in their heads at some point, and they'll all say, hey, let's just put it in the wiki and use it there. So I hope you have a good chance of using wikis in your classroom. I hope you enjoy wikis, wiki books, and other kinds of activities. Wiki, 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 wiki to it. And enjoy the applications and uses of wikis in the classroom. Enjoy, send me notes of what worked and what didn't work.